You bass fishing? Yeah. Yeah, I caught a 50 pound snapper out here last weekend. Yep. Caught it on nothing but a banana, Vienna sausage yeah. and a carrot. Weekend before that, I fished here. I actually caught one of them kids by the hill. I about got kicked out of here. Luckily, I know the judge, Judge Pratt, uh -huh. and uh, he got me back in here. Uh, it's the second time I hooked a kid this year. Oh, they don't like me fishing back here. If you go that way, don't tell them I'm back here again. <laughs> They'll get me. Welcome to Beach Fork Lake, home of the family vacations and not so good catfishing. This lake right here, I kind of grew up in the area of it. And most thing I associate this lake with is pontoon boats, rentals, and just people coming out. Rain's just now starting to come down. I was anchored out out there on a cove off a point with some steep banks, but the wind picked up, so I decided to come back in here. And this is the setup I got going on. I got some, the wind's kind of blowing out that way. Got some more slack water. And I threw out four poles off this kayak and testing out these new PVC rod holders. And all it is, I like, U-bolted those PVC pipes to the, the base of my chair. And then this right here pivots freely so I can angle it around. I think I'd be good for throwing off uh, live bait off the back on some of these anchor trips I'm doing. So we'll see. As far as bait, I'm just using some chicken liver. And I'm going to be throwing out Carolina rigs. I'm going to give it about 40 minutes or so. Then I'm going to screw down in the water. Here we go. It's heck of an intro, huh? Well, that's the first hit of the day there. Hopefully I didn't miss him talking, but oh well, that's the way it goes. But like I say, I'm throwing Carolina rigs. I got about 12 to 14 foot leaders on there. Um, broke out the ugly sticks. These are the ones I mainly fish with for the longest of time. There he is. Oh, we missed him. We missed him. Well, I mean, that's, that's a good start, I guess. So, with the circle hooks, I'm trying something new, too. I don't like putting my rods in these type of rod holders. Uh, you'll, you won't see me do it very often because I like to pick up on the fish, and you can't really pick up on the fish as you pull it out, and I think that takes too much time. Let me get this uh, fixed up and I'll be right back. All right, got the poles back out here, ready to go. Hopefully uh, a fish comes back, but the reason I don't like, I said these rod holders, I like picking up on the fish is, with circle hooks, are supposed to be self-sending hooks. I, I firmly believe that when you got a big hook or a big fish hit that, that bait hard, it's gonna sit the hook. Or when he's constantly hitting, you can pick up and reel up on him. But out here in my area, it's mostly channel cat fish in these lakes just smaller channel cats and with channel cats they're going to hit 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 and pick and hit that bait and then when they get it in their mouths they don't they don't just hold that pole down there's not a very i mean you can get big runs off channel cats but if only set the hooks on the big runs that they had might i'd drastically not catch as much fish because they would tear the bait off the hook so that's why i'm out here like picking up like uh these front rod holders on my kayak People probably wonder what the heck that is if you look at other videos. But all I did was I got my Scotty, my Scotty mount on here, which uh, probably should have made them, could have made them cheaper. I got you made that camera mount over there. But, and then I got PVC pipe and I just wrapped electrical tape around it to get the thickness and stuff that down in there. And I did the same thing to this rod holder. And that holds it out like I'm bank fish. And that's just how I put my preference of how I like my rods. And then back here, I'm just using my kayak anchor, uh, paddle little strap or whatever you call that and that holds the back down that way that fish can sink down on it and my rods don't just go flying off out in the middle of the lake but you know i'll keep you posted if i catch anything yeah ain't looking too promising i don't have those two poles out very far just like i said because this overhang so i'm gonna walk out in the water here in about 10 15 minutes and i'm gonna throw those out farther out if not i don't get nothing here in about an hour I'm gonna work my way back on out over in there in that cove, see if I can get anything. So let's see what happens. All right guys, so I really want to sling some cut bait out. So I dug up this worm 
and I don't have my ultralight, so I'm just going to throw this out and see if I can uh, get one to bite. And Got him. There he is, little bluegill. He's going to be cut bait. Water bits on cast that farther, but I got a headpiece right here going out. So far, and get it out there. All right, here we go. We got a body section going out here. That looks a little rough. I had to use my paddle to cut that up. Get a shout out to Ozark Shell Walmart paddles. I forgot my bait knife today, so. Here it goes. Getting one on this route here. Try to reel down on them a second. Got him. There we go. First one of the day. He kept messing with it, but I guess he finally took it. See him running with a little channel cat there. Take a look at him. No! That was fast release, I guess. Getting hit on this one now. So he takes off, I reel down on him. Coming in with it. Hey, I got him. A little bit better one, it feels like. Probably still pretty small. He's making a run out that way. He's swimming in with me. He's making a run right through there. There we go. Oh, he swallowed the hook. Big long channel cat. Swallowed that hook. See if I can get that out of him. He's done. That's it. We are having catfish today, boys. Whoa. Easy, son. What are you doing? Holy crap. Do you know? He is a good eater size anyway. You ain't going nowhere, son. Going well, um, in a plot twist, we will not be having catfish today, and the catfish will probably die. I'm gonna throw back out here again. I'm just walking out off this little bank so I can throw out down here because I think they're hanging out, feeding through these logs and stuff. Not too far out, but I can't cast. Really overhead, I mean, I guess that'll work. I guess that'll work. One other thing I also like about these rod holders is that when I swivel them, I can point poles out that direction. I can move them out front to the, to the back. So I'm not just limited to like these, just throwing them off the front. I can orientate them around, do a couple of things. As far as picking the pole up and bringing it back, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, but one of those fish swallowed the hook and the other one actually fell off at the bank. So I don't know if you'd say that was good hook sets. I'm mainly, rather than rolling down on them, I'm still pulling out and setting the hook on them. So I don't know. I will see if I like these moving forward. I think I will. I think they're good add on. I just might move this PVC pipe down here just to lower these down a bit. We've got another hit on this one. About fell on my behind there. Come on. Might have missed my opportunity. Nope. I think he's on there. I can't tell. Yeah, he's on there. He's small. I'm just running right into the bank. Look at that. Look at that little fish. Look at that little fish. It might be fish bait. Look how I hooked him. 
I don't know if y'all can see that, but I just hooked him by, open up you, just the tongue there, just not much of a hook set, got lucky on that, that big of a hook in that fish, it's hilarious, well there he is, little channel cat, he's talking to you, go on, try to go back out here around this tree, Throw that off that way again. Probably put it right over there. Boop. Let's walk her back in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these lines in and clean up here and I'm gonna go back out to the dock and I think it was about a few hundred, maybe four or five hundred yards away from the dock. There was this little cove and weather seems to be cleared up pretty well so I'm gonna go back out in that cove and sit for about 45 minutes see if I can land one more fish probably won't but then I'm gonna get on out of here just gotta hit on this one while I was cleaning up yeah, he made a hard run with that camera on here it is it's packing away and he wanted to grab it he's running right at me see what's on there Another little channel cat. And I left that. I'd say six sock Gamgatsu catfish hook on there. <laughs> Lucky he's able to get that in his mouth. Come here. There he is. I ain't catching really nothing out here, but well, I ain't catching a few, I guess. So, so I can get him out of here. Going fishing? Nah. What's that? Nah, we didn't play him. No, what's that? We didn't fish. I can't hear you. I didn't fish. Oh. Yeah, I paddled all day. I paddled from the front. I didn't know there was a dock back here. Oh, yeah. I was going to come back here to the good fish, and everybody's back here fishing. There's a whole RV park back here. Huh. Well, you guys have a good one. All right, I just got back over here to this dock. And as you can see, this is the cove. I got the cut bait out there. I'm gonna throw a chicken liver over there, chicken liver out there, and probably right in there, and just sit up for about an hour and see if I catch anything. Then I'm gonna get out of here. I got the truck pulled up right there, so I can just load up and get out of here. Let's see what we catch at the dock. All right, we're fishing. Don't know if I got any hopes for this place or not. I don't know why there wouldn't be channel cats littered out through here. I'm sure people feed them and there's just enough crap back here to eat so i'm sure we'll catch a couple before we get out of here well that's gonna be it i'm gonna get out of here um that's pretty much beach fork another place for some small channel cats they do catch fly here out here quite a bit but i don't know to what extent i'm pretty happy with this pole holder set up the poles are a little high for when i'm sitting in the kayak but i'm out of the kayak i really wasn't that bad i think what i'm gonna be doing is put just leaving these in here like this when i'm in the bank just let them sit like that and then when i'm in the kayak what i'll do is i'll just twist them around like that and they sit up high but i'm just gonna throw clickers on on those blue rods and those bait casters i'm gonna throw out a probably bluegill a lot of bluegill cut bluegill off the back in the rivers and then this lake as well and when i hear the clickers go off i'll just reel down on them that'll be about it so that's it i'm getting out of here What's their names? Is that Oscar? Oscar. Is he a pet? <laughs> a pet these puppies? Hey, I love people. Does he bite? No. Uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he might lick you to death. That's, that's a pet bull. That's a pet bull. It's gotta be.